don't nobody owe you shit. <laughs> okay, I wanted to make sure you heard that loud and clear before I say anything else. Don't nobody owe you shit. My name is Miss Charlotte. You can look at me as your favorite cousin or your big sister or your homegirl around the corner. Or maybe I'm just big Auntie Charlotte, the kind of auntie that gives it to you 100% raw, unfiltered, and honest because these are issues and we have to deal with them. This is not the Kiki gossiping escape channel. This is the unpopular road. This is the road where you deal with your issues and you deal with them the best way that you can. But fortunately, when you deal with your issues, you can grow. You can become a better person. And I just wanted to talk about this false sense of entitlement. All of us have it in some form or another where we really think somebody owes us something. And the honest truth is nobody owes us anything. The only person that owes us is us. Okay, we are responsible for our own happiness. We are responsible for our own joy and our own success. Us and us alone. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because it's hindering a lot of people from happiness and joy and success because you're so busy waiting for someone to give you something. You're waiting for someone to reward you. You're waiting for someone to hand something to you. And the more you wait, the longer it's going to take for you to become successful, okay? And to find joy and to find happiness and to find peace. So that's why I wanted to talk about that today. And to be honest, a lot of this is not our fault. Our parents, they had good intentions, but it was misguided. Okay, when we were growing up, we were always given this sense of if we did something good, we would get rewarded. So it would be with your food. If you eat all your food, you can eat all your dessert, okay? Or if you finished your homework, you can hang out a little longer or you can play a video game. You know, if you get good grades in high school, you're going to go to college and you're going to be smart. Then you get to college. Oh, if you get good grades in college, you're going to get a good job. You're going to get paid a lot of money. You're going to be successful. You're going to have the finer things in life. Be a good girl. Don't spread yourself too thin. You're going to have a knight in shining army. He's going to come and take care of you. He's going to sweep you off your feet. You know, he's going to give you a house and kids and cars. Or if you're a man, oh, be a good man. You'll get a good wife and you'll have house and kids. There's always some sense of reward. So it's really not our fault that we have grown up thinking that if we do good, we're supposed to get something in return. So I know for me, I had to face my demon and I said, well, what was my self-entitlement? And for me, it was my job. When I show up to work, I give 110%. But guess what? That's not on my boss. That's on me. The contract was there was a job, there was duties, there, there was roles, and there was a salary. I agreed to it, and that was that. There was no bonuses thrown in there. Had there been bonuses, then yes, I should expect it. But just because I decided to come to work and not slack off and not, you know, take advantage of different things, just because I decided to be a goody two-shoe does not mean that my boss owes me more. I'm just doing my job. But if I had kept that self-entitlement, I would be miserable constantly waiting and waiting for this bonus that really I don't deserve. I don't, I'm just doing my job. But that's what I mean by that false sense of entitlement. Because I'm showing up for work every day, I feel like I should be rewarded more than my paycheck. That's how this thing goes when you think that everybody owes you. So for example... Do you feel like if your best friend came into some money that they should give you some money? Do you feel entitled to that money? No, you should not. If your friend wants to give you some of that money, then great. That's the cherry on top. But do they owe you that? No. Just because you're their best friend, you're entitled to their money? No. Same thing goes for your parents. They don't owe you either. Some single parents tend to spoil their kids because they're overcompensating for the bum parent. So therefore, they're giving the kid everything. And so this kid is expecting the world to be the same way, to always give and to give and to give. No, it does not work like that, okay? Your parents don't owe you anything either. After a certain age, you need to move out of the house. They need to stop sending you care packages at 35 years old. That's just, that's just a false sense of entitlement, okay? 
So what I'm asking you is to look at your demon, face it, and figure out what is your self-entitlement. What do you feel people owe you? And really, at the end of the day, know that they don't. The same way, do you feel you owe people? Do you feel like you have to pay for other people's shortcomings? Do you always have to reward somebody? If you feel like, hell no, then what makes you the exception? No one has to do anything for anyone. If they do, that's considered a blessing. That's considered a gift. So let's try to be mindful and realize that nobody owes you anything. And trust me, you will be better off. You will have this sense of freedom, okay? And it helped me. Once I learned my sense of entitlement, it really even helped me in this YouTube journey. Yes, I'm shooting videos, I'm editing, I'm putting out content, but does everybody owe me a subscription? No. Half of these people don't even know I exist. I haven't even promoted properly. I'm learning. I'm on a journey. But if I kept that sense of entitlement, I would expect 100,000 views, 100,000 subscribers just because I started a channel. Just because you start something and just because you're doing it does not mean everybody is instantaneously going to come. That's a sense of self-entitlement, thinking that I'm entitled to the success instantly. No, I have to work for it. I have to earn it. That's with everybody. If you start something, you have to earn it. It's not instantaneously like when we were kids. When you finished your food, you got your dessert. It does not work that way. Okay? So really think about it and take pride in earning something and not waiting for someone to give you something. Earn it. Take it. That's going to give you... That's going to give you much more gratification. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. If you understand what I'm talking about, give me the thumbs up. If you don't, give me the thumbs down. Tell me why you think somebody owes you. Leave it in the comment. We can agree to disagree. No matter what, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social at Miss Burley to You. And every Wednesday, you will see me here with a new issue. And until next Wednesday, I'll see you later.